All right, hey, hey, VC. I am back today with the second video because I totally got something in the mail that I totally forgot was coming. I just want to throw this out there because I need your help. I need your help. I'm perplexed as to what to do. Now, I got some records in. I got a lot of records in that I had ordered. And the thing is, I can't say I'm not a fan, but I can't say that I am a fan to the point where I necessarily would buy any of these records. But for the price I got them for, I can become a fan. But it's totally outside my normal listening. Again, not that I hate it, but was it an impulse buy because of the price? Should I open them? Should I maybe hold on to them and resell them? But there's so many of them out there and they're already cheap as it is. Are they ever going to be worth anything? You should open them and listen to them and enjoy them. That's what I'm thinking. What do you think? I'm going to post this video tonight before I go to band practice. And then I'm going to be gone for a few hours. And by the time I get back later this evening, I'm hoping to have some ideas from comments below this video on what you all think I should do. You all know I'm more of a metalhead, hard rock, uh, you know, things along that line. I don't say that I have a whole lot of leanings towards country music. Again, not that I'm opposed to it. I just, you know, I grew up listening to classic country. My dad did the whole early classic country stuff. I grew up listening to all of that. Hee haw. I appreciate all that. I just don't know how far I'd go into buying it. But anyway, last week Amazon had Prime Day and somebody on Facebook pointed out this particular sale because I didn't even look at it I saw it and I'm like I didn't even look at what the price was and they pointed it out and I bought it my wife's like why I'm like how can you not Ugh. Garth Brooks the legacy now what's in here this is the remixed remastered box set five okay five records five five yeah five album five records but the five out records are actually seven because one of them's a triple you got seven you know vinyl records for five releases that's the word I'm looking for five releases on seven albums and then you've got one two three four same thing uh, seven CDs to accompany those and there are five pivotal albums by Garth Brooks you may if you're a Garth Brooks friends fan you're probably saying why are you reading this Jeff we know this came out in 2019 no fences the chase in pieces fresh horses and triple live seven albums seven cds in a box set remixed remastered on vinyl wait but wait there's more legacy box set number two same five albums but this is the limited edition numbered series and i'm assuming it's a different mix same five albums same seven vinyl records same seven cds but uh different a different mix version box set and these are numbered as part of the numbered series all three box sets are numbered the same number oh i mentioned it three but there's more a third box set so this is the one that is the analog so you got the original analog again seven vinyl records seven cds original analog mix and then you've got the new remix digital uh remix on vinyl and cd and then i'm not exactly 100 percent sure what the third edition is same five albums on seven vinyl records and seven cds okay all three if you missed this deal i don't know if i should tell you because you're going to really kick yourself the legacy set all three sets all three of these sets on Amazon Prime Day last week were $17.99 total $19 and change with ship with tax $20 less than $20 I got 21 vinyl records and 21 CDs in three different box sets yes it's the same five albums but it is different versions so perplexing question do I open them do I open one of them do I sell the other two now they retail on Amazon roughly a hundred I mean like $75 a piece I am seeing that you can buy them on like discogs at like you know 25 to 50 a piece 
for the box set. So there's still $20 for all three is outrageous. Um, I couldn't pass it up. Even if I gave them to somebody, I'm giving $20. I'm giving away $20. But um, if I were to resell them for 20 bucks a piece, I've tripled my, doubled my money, doubled my money back. What do you think? What do you think? Open them and enjoy them, which I'm inclined to do. I know a lot of the songs, Friends in Low Places, Thunder Rolls. I know a lot of Garth Brooks songs, not as many as that contains, but I think I could grow to appreciate them, but I don't know. What do you think? Should a metalhead crack open this many country albums and delve in? Are you a Garth Brooks fan? Did you miss out on this sale? Anyway, what would you do if you were in my situation? Comment below. I'm leaving it at that. I forgot these were coming in. A lot of people got theirs like the next day, the two days later. Mine said they weren't even gonna, they weren't shipped, and I'm like, I must have. That sale was so big that everybody bought them on. I'm not gonna get mine, and then totally forgot to look this week, and all of a sudden, boom, they show up today. What is this box? Anyway, what would you do? Comment below. Thanks a lot. Rock on, rock hard or country hard. Later. <laughs>